and welcome back to our invasion of China as the Lucky Russians in Crusader Kings 2. So, yeah, this should go pretty well. Looks like they've barely got any morale back at all. And ours is... What? Well, plus seven per week. How much longer till we get there? Uh, most of a week. Alright, see if it actually gets up to 100. No, it's 96. And theirs average is 35. Good, so they're only getting 8.4 per week. And we got 3.7.3 there. Why do we get less? Because it's full, I guess. But then, that's on 97, because it's on 99. Yeah, see, now it comes up. Okay, Commander Improved. Afnazi. The dude we use a lot. Gain... How you gain two? Alright, so better movement speed and various bits and pieces. Now, this is all about the numbers that we get to kill here. There we go. That first hit. Alright, killed 4,000. They are going to you men. Up to 19%. Okay, uh, what I was looking for during the break was um, Dun Huang is his seat. So if we have a look at where he is, he is actually way down here. And it says um, leading troops in Samatara. I think that might just be the game's way of saying they've left the map or something. Um, because he's not actually at war with these guys. If you do have a look at who he is at war with though, he's defending against the Basilius in the Byzantine Chinese de jour holding war over Sakia which is not them. It is this little thing down here, which is going to become ours if we can beat them before he does. Um, he's got this Temple of Atfi for some reason. I have no idea how that happened, but um, dude's got a clown face, so good for him. And yeah, so they're at 83% already, and it was at 80 uh, during the break, so in the last however long, he's gone up to 83, which means we need to absolutely crush this before that. So I think that's just going to be a loss, and we're only going to get this stuff and a little bit down in India or Pakistan, wherever it was. Now, is somebody coming over here? Oh, he's nearly here. With Afanazi. Good. He needs to get to that. And I don't know how our Viceroy there is following them to uh, do, give him some more training. Alright, um... Pretty sure his guy has way of the leopard as well. That's why they're getting around so quickly. Ours arrives on the day after. There we go. I only care about the losses. I want to see a big day. Yeah, 200 per day. It's good enough. And caught another guy. So, I assume that's why they haven't actually brought those together yet. Now we're all going to arrive on the same day. You know what? Who is giving us... It's none of them. Stanislav, do you give us speed? No, Jakic. We don't have any organisers, so this is... Um, yeah, fair enough. I'm going to keep the flankers. Uh, Chinky has mounted right defence. He's got defence. don't really need defence now, so it's what if we swap him out for um, Afanazi. Who has Siege. He has... 97% siege, but that's fine. We can swap it out for this guy. Because I want the movement speed. And pretty sure Afanazi is the only one. Movement speed's only coming from Organizer. Yeah, alright. We're going to swap that out. Just to get him in front. And then, now that they've arrived and don't need the speed anymore. Um, siege comes from just Leopards. So we've got plenty to choose from. Um, Xi, Dao, or Chinki. Siege 97, Siege 90, 95, Siege 100. So I assume Stanislav no, he is over there. Is that the same? Yeah, that's the guy with Siege. Um, but we've got him there for the flanking. So is there any other flanker? Taro. Does flanking while leading the center. Okay. Um, what if we put... Taro in the center and put Avanazi on the flank. Hmm. Alright. Uh, Taro. And Afanazi was there for the movement speed, so that's fine. Then I forget who we were trying to pull out. Afanazi Taro Jactic. There was um what's his name? Stanislav the Leopard. Okay, so that'll put this to twenty six, that's good enough. Alright, these guys should still be going to Jinquan. Now we get there five days before them. Might be able to do extra damage being the defenders, maybe. 
And what was that? Six to kill Savia Kozmevich. That's fine. Alright. <clears throat> so on the 23rd. None of their losses. Our losses are fine. They're losing less by the looks. But captured Husun Husun. And you get there nine days earlier again. That's all good. And down here. Crushing it. I mean, good just assault, but fine with doing it uh, without taking extra losses because we're going to need plenty of guys over here. We're down to 9,000. Consumption is broken out. Finish their education in the ways of war. Lotharling. Do we not have. No, we've still got a court tutor. Victory! And capturing some more guys. They are still going to Jiquan. Getting there more and more before they do. Alright, um, Navara and Brun Asakla. That's good. So we're going to grab this. We're up to 36. How's he going on his other war? 97. Yeah, so the Basilius is going to be able to steal that de jure holding. That's unfortunate. Let's see these guys try to piece us out early. He's going to get it on the 11th. We're going to get out on the 10th. Um, yeah. Now we're too fast for him. So, uh, Afanasi, you're not actually helping us out here much, buddy. Do you have... What gives flank? Uh, Taro. Flanking's just flanker. Stanislav, Taro... Hmm. I guess we might as well put Stanislav in there. Problem with that is the speed here. But let's just get him marching around quicker. Just put Afanasi in. Alright, and now that we've on the verge of winning this, we've got our reinforcements coming in. So when they arrive, we're going to start passing out where they're going to do the job. Uh, 12,500, pretty much. We'll go... Actually, just go directly there. And what's this? 10 and a 2. Let's just grab the 10. Pretty sure that's about what we need there. And then 15. That's 17. That's the 15 there. Yep. Although, 15 plus 2 makes 17. They'll go to you men. And then this 12,000. Where did we not send them? Here. Yeah, alright. That'll be fine. Now let's just keep killing these guys. Alright, it's um, yeah, good numbers for a while. My wife, Ethelborough, is pregnant. Freaking awesome. She better not die. We better not die. Before the baby's born. That's the one, that's the baby that's going to give us the HRE and Hispania titles. Dro Zhangshun of Panong has finally decided to come to our come out of fighting. Um, is that this dude? Right. It's our mission for the assassins. Yeah, keep chasing. We'll get there the same day. Because we took Afanasi up. Through years of careful strategic planning, repeated tactical brilliance, and a measure of luck that makes believers of, of, of us all, we've managed to whittle down the enemy's armies. I am almost beginning to dream of victory when my generals inform me that Chinese emperors dispatch more forces to the West. Jesus Christ. Um, the Imperial Chinese fleet has arrived with troops from the Indian Ocean near the province of Samatata. Oh, that's fine. That's why the hell down there. Yeah. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. We don't care, as long as they're not dropping another giant freaking stack up here. Um, how many more men does he have? Event spawned. Don't know what that was down to. Would have been about 100,000. So he's got another 50k. 500 event spawned fleet levies. Okay, Jesus. That, I thought there was going to be another giant stack here. We'd have no chance. Not with only 
what do we have? 60, not even 60,000, um, coming through here, finally. And, you know, have no one on, is it this guy? He's the one going to the capital, yeah. And then here we've got our own domain levy coming in as well. Alright. Jesus. You lot. How's our morale? Yeah, we're at 100% morale whenever we start these fights. And they're on, like, most 25. And we're in deficit. Crap. Didn't see that in time. Uh, stop playing for them. Might not be enough, actually. Uh, wait to see how it goes. No, our income's not going to be high enough. We need to drop out ours. They're in Siberia. They made it this far. Thank you, but you're no longer welcome. And we're going to get 10,000 when we win this. Alright, that's looking good. And we forgot to chase them. Whoops. Get over there. 14. Well, we do want them to have a little more... Um, yeah, it's fine. Did want them to have a little more morale so we could kill more of them in one go. Gets out to Derelenka. We could just let them go there. They wouldn't come back to attack us. And hopefully we don't get any problems with uh, highway robbers or anything in the capital. When the first Greek armies clashed against the Chinese regiments, few anticipated this outcome. They have stolen that tiny little bit. He's lost a war to Basilius Thomas. So we don't get to steal that tiny little temple down here when we win, unfortunately. We're up to 44. It's not too bad. Alright, and we're going to need those reinforcements here, I think. 2,000 on the 29th. So their morale should make it easy enough anyway. Now these are all flankers. So as soon as he drops one, see what the flanking difference makes. Um, it would be here. Flanking plus 30%. It's only one of the guys. Looks like he's actually attacking, though. Yeah, a few of them get in. Hey, we lost the center. Alright, so we can group these guys up now. 5,000 onto his 3 point something. Actually, let's just stop here. They're getting you on the 24th. No, we need to do one more. Attack him in November. Alright, and supply here. Should be good. Um, we've only got Afanasi to actually do the things. Let's get him down here, because that's the first one. These guys get started on the capital until everybody else starts arriving. And we'll have these guys are going to be leftovers, just to make up the numbers wherever the attrition hits too hard. Just as winter starts. And there comes our internal problems. Hmm... Alright, this council power one is the worst. Um, do we have any things to give away? We can give away Greater Moravia and Magyar if we need to. So it is titular. Greater Moravia is the... I can't remember where they're from. Somewhere in Eastern Europe. Alright, should we do it now to make people happy? What else can we do? Award honorary title. Oh, we can go this way. Alright, he's 47. Yeah be just barely enough, hopefully. Master of the Blade. Pinion of Liege, 62. He's got a lot of men. So he is Persia and Syria. We get him out, we're happy. Um, we can marry somebody else off. Probably, I don't know, let's look at it this way. He's got 16,000 in Lithuania. He's got... 15,000 in Georgia. Come here. Yeah. Alright, can we offer a non aggression pact? Cannot form one. If we were to arrange a marriage between Boris, no, arrange a betrothal between Princess of Georgia and Prince of Russia as our uncle. Then 
that doesn't work. We get no non-aggression packs from the marriage. Why is that? She's not your close relative. She's your daughter. Range of patrols between her and a close relative of ours. Should be an automatic non-aggression pack. Okay, um, who was the other guy? That was Persia. The other one was... That was Georgia. So we'll look at... Lithuania. Alright, uh, your heir has a wife. Let's arrange a betrothal. Hmm. Alright, well, between Svetazar and her will work. No idea who she is. Go for that. That'll pull his 16,000 out. And they did arrive earlier than I thought. Okay, Chennai was captured. You have to go through and try and recruit a bunch of these uh, prisoners. You have decided to accept. So, automatic non aggression pact with him should pull out a giant chunk of that. Okay, thank you. And increase council power 70%. Was on 80 something percent, so that's good. Trying to focus on my training, but he is always there. Um, don't have any injuries, so we'll ignore him and focus. Puts our personal combat skill up for five years as well. Which puts us on six for the combat that we're too afraid to take. We haven't had our baby yet. It's got to be soon. Pregnant. Wish it said when. Rejecting seduction. is Oh, good on you, woman. Alright, betrothed can marry Prince Svetazar and Fyodora Yefimyovna. Is that the one we just sent off? I think it was. Um, to the butcher, yeah. Accept that. Alright, where are they going to go after this? You have a new heir! Alright. Um, this is... I don't know, she needs a good name because she's going to be awesome. Vasilisa Malusha Alexandra. Um... Emperina. Because she's going to be a massive empress. And we might as well chase him down because these guys are about to arrive to do the sieging. Alright, arranged marriage. Hang on. We propose that Prince Svetazar marries. They're already betrothed. Lithuania. Yes, we accept that. Poor physician is worried about my newborn. Don't you freaking say that. He is the super skilled mystical dude who did something to our father that didn't quite work. Definitely save her. Alright, when do you get in? 25th of January. That's a long time. And we're going to be kicking his army out of here completely. Didn't actually check if uh, their army got bigger once the boats arrived. No, they just have event spawned fleet and then must have had like 50,000 men on it. Problem's going to be, they're probably going to beeline for this. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Byzantine have some over here and Chinese had some over there. It's alright, so we're up to 64. He shouldn't occupy anything of ours, no. The battles are well enough in our favour. We just need to obviously siege down everything we can here. Um, and we can't really do assaults on any of this. Novgorod prospers. Lose ducats we don't have for a great library. We do want technology spread rate. Um, gaining 20. Will be 120 down, so that's 6 months worth. I don't know, let's just do it anyway. As bad as this is. Can't see any improvements. No, god damn it. She's got to pre pregnant again. Have a strong son. Uh, what's actually telling us about her? Nothing. Just sickly. Um, focus on health. Um, yeah, you need to struggle, girly. Victory was worth nothing, but these guys are getting in on the 20... Well, today. So, they'll take that, and we'll sit here, even though we're not at war with them. Actually, 
when... Yeah, I guess we can go over here. They're a long way off arriving. Let's do it a little faster. Now, Splummit there, and Mild Winter is only 5,000. Been suffering a lot of attrition. Seven and a half there. Apparently, Winter hasn't hit over here yet. Okay. Use this map mode for the first time. It's February. Alright, can we kill them faster with more troops? Apparently not. We killed 490. Now they're going to be going up there where we'll probably just leave them. But now we have Stanislav Jacket and Terra Ho. Um, who do we need for Siege? It's Leopards. Alright, so we have Stanislav, Afnazi, Shidao, Chinka. Stanislav, Afnazi, Chinka, and Shidao. Let's get all of these going. Double speed. Siege leader times two. Siege leader times 1.95. Oh, seriously. Yeah, because we have so much money for that. Siege leader times 1.975 and times 1.9. And he's got 50,000 men just arrived. Fuck me. Um, well, there goes that. I suppose you want to accept right now? Enforce demands? No? Jesus Christ. 10, 28, 30 something. How can we meet? We need to meet in here. Shouldn't have dropped our other troops off. What do we have coming in? Just them. Jesus Christ. Hmm. They are supposed to go down the other way, not come directly to us off the boats. And where is this guy now? Oh, he's bringing more men. That'll be the other 140,000, 190,000. Holy crap. And of course they want to go the wrong way. So, they're going to Anji to meet us. 50,000 men versus everything we have, which is obviously not going to be enough. Um, fight will start the 20th of March. They get up on the 29th. These guys send back to the 28th, uh, 25th. Now we just need them to pour in as they can. We've got... Yeah, the army that was doing everything else before. We have to throw everything at it. It's our only chance. Alright, from the 15th of April, they won't be able to reinforce. Hang on, who's going over there? Yangguan. Between us... Oh, there's another 12,000 coming in. Awesome. Alright. Well, they finally realised we were going to beat them. We've inherited Rus, Mauritania, and Mongolia from Mitrofan. Um, anybody who wants to start a civil war wants a bit more land. He's 43, he's 38, he is 41. Guy leading it is 35. It's got to be the same people between them. So we've got Russia, Mauritania, Mongolia. Alright, buddy. Actually. Well, it won't make much of a difference. It's fine. Um, grant vice royalty of Rus. With not accidentally giving away all our land. And then... Finland and Lapland. Not very important. The drunkard doesn't have much. These guys shouldn't be fighting us anyway. But, okay, Aragon. No, he was the one with the Rus. Um, Navarra and Castile. Let's just grant him the Vice Royalty of Mauritania with everything under it. And Viceroy Georgia. Let's grant him Mongolia with everything under it. Okay, mm. not liking the next 10 minutes. 
Alright, got them. Then they've got their 50,000 in. And these guys are still a long way away. Didn't get the morale hit that we were hoping for there. Alright, so all up we have 39. And that's going to be too much hassle trying to get other guys in here unless we move our capital. We have no money to hire mercenaries anyway. They'd be completely useless. They'd turn on us. Um, we wouldn't be able to pull a retinue or anything either. Um, Vice Royalty of Aragon has a bunch of troops. He is Aragon. He is also Rus. There's nothing with Aragon or Rus over here. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Alright, well. What does he have? It's all way too far away. Where is Denia? No. Alright, I think this is going to be game over. This uh, didn't quite work. If he didn't bring in this freaking guys on the boats. Yeah, now he's streaming them all in. We've got no chance. Lords of Rus have approved the only external vassal wars. Interesting. So I wonder if we'll lose the kingdoms that are the uh, viceroys are holding. When are they going to get in? 22nd. Won't last that long. There you go. Have a crack. Yep, losing everywhere. He's got, you know, his 136,000 troops to our 20,000. I mean, we could pull in a little bit more, but they're pretty much done. Can you even stay there? No, he's stuck leaving. No, you always want to go meet down there. We've inherited Kumanya and Katan. Uh, let's keep panning these off. Now, Kamania. That was Pannonia. Actually, Catan is okay. Oh, Tero died. Well, he did good for a while. Um, so, this guy with all of the armies. How do you feel about granting him Viceroy of Kotan, which is right next to us here? And then Aragon can raise... Uh, can't raise his troops. Damn it. Kind of hoping that would work. Um... Alright, you're under Aragon. Let's just grant him Vice Royalty of Kumania as well. Aragon. Aragon becomes basically everything. Alright, can we raise them anywhere else? Raise Vassal Levies. Yeah, it only brings in England. The others aren't allowed. Alright, well, let's uh, drop these guys out. And we've got positive money. Alright, how many do they have there? It's all of ours except for 20,000. So we've got 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, and 8, 17,000. Not to 20,000. Alright, um, let's try and dodge them. Why is Cologne at war with them? Okay. Uh, no, they're moving to... Who's moving to Yangul? Between us and him. Oh, that guy. He's got 13,000 going that way. Okay then, let's uh, move to Lopnor. And last chance for anybody to participate. No. Alright, we'll get in... Uh, by the 9th, we can merge our armies. We've inherited Aragon, Rus, Catan, and Kamania. Okay, we'll deal with them soon. 4th, come on. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th. Pull all them together. And auto balance. 
He's got 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, hang on, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 105,000 troops here, which is almost his entire army. So, yeah, I mean, that answered what happened before. They all went down here to wait for the boats, and they've come back together rather than just fighting the war. And somebody... No, it's just not showing as hatched because I'm on the wrong map mode. Fair enough. So, yeah, we still control that. <clears throat> this 47%, we would white piece in a normal war. That, that really sucks. I've already won, give up now, and I'll spare your life. The other thing is, this daughter didn't die. Everything was going so well. Alright, well, um, back over the vassal limit because of the thing. Who else has some men at the moment? Poitou has a couple. Essex. You know what, we're able to keep raising his stuff, so let's just grant him vice royalties. I doubt that this will work. Um, where are we looking? Essex. Grant vice royalty Kimania. Grant vice royalty Kotan. And Grant vice royalty. Actually, I know why that wasn't working. Uh, Russ, because um, they have to actually hold the land, not just the title. So, yeah. Is that not... Germany, Australia. Alright, let's go find... What's his name? Yeah, that's looking right. Essex is now... Aragon is his primary kingdom. Yeah, there's Aragon. And she's a Aragon. We can raise just Essex men. Why can we only raise his? He doesn't own it. That's weird. Alright, um, come down this way. And did Tibet... No, not Tibet. These guys. Tibetan Revolt. Defending against Australia. They're at zero. Defending against Mr. Slav. 35. You'd think there'd be a lot more ticking war score by now. There's a lot of Athenians there that should help out with us instead. Okay, uh, the only other people we would have any chance with. Uh, yeah, no. Not gonna happen. So, 17,000 to 20,000. Without the morale we need. They got the numbers. At the end of this first one. Not going to swing around enough. Got the narrow flank. But they're crushing it. And here come their reinforcements. We do hold Yangguan. Last chance for a wipe. Yeah, we had the battles. Damn it. Uh, white piece. No, enforced commands would be better. Okay. Um, the other thing we could probably do is stop raiding the Han. That would have given the things back. So you definitely don't want to be raiding them at the same time you're trying to invade them, I think is the lesson. Let's let these guys get out. You know what, let's stop that now, because it's completely useless. Alright, it's lucrative, dangerous, no longer be considered a priority, target, remove, raiding China, fine. Recently raided China. Alright, they're going to Ijin on the 14th. Hello, Ruthenia. Alright, I uh, don't know where these guys are from. Let's not disband them. We can usurp. The Aegean. Oh, we've got money now. And we can usurp Thessalonica. I don't remember taking these, I think. No, I do remember taking that. Don't remember having the islands, though. Uh, no, we're not going to be spending money on that. <clears throat> these guys, though, are going to probably want to back off for a bit. If we can get them to chase us somewhere else. Do we want a 20 stack? Yeah, go up to Bishbalik. Yeah, go the other way. And they're not going to make it out. 9th of October, they've got no chance. And they've got Afanazi in there already. If we can get the Ruthenians to come in. 
Get out of there. Actually, Ruthenians apparently did come in. Okay. Um, everybody's retreated already. Actually, do it. Alright, they're assaulting. They can't assault this, which is just hilarious, but they kind of outnumber the guys there anyway. Oh yeah, of course you had to go through that one. So if we can get our 220 back, don't know exactly how long it takes them to get that. Um, yeah, that's a little bit of a drop. When do we get in? Kumul on the 25th of January. Um, Kinke, Marina, and Tekic. Apparently is available, he does flanking. They're going in there anyway. We'll get up by them. 1st of January he arrives. That could be actually good for us. If they arrive while these guys are all retreating. They have too much morale though. There we go. Then we get in. It was way too late. He's pulling them in as well. Uh, 25th. Yep, yeah, no, we need to get special relic. Retreat. There we go. He lost 10,000, we lost 4,000. Damn it. Um, where did Ruthenia's army end up? I think he dropped them. Can't raise anything. <clears throat> okay. So this is 20,000 out of... Yeah, 23. That's fair enough. Um, there's a little bit of an army here for some reason. Just down there. And they're not particularly useful. And they can probably wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usurped. Ah, oh, damn it. Don't drop that out. Usurped whatever. And where have their armies gone? They're heading. Young Guan. Damn it, so he's just going south. Tibet's come up here. Uh, maybe they'll disappear down through there again, like they've been trying to for some time. Um, Chinky, Stanislav, and him. I'm going to Karakoja. 28th and the 9th. 20th of April. Get in behind them. They still want to leave on the 7th. Hang on, there's three armies there. I was only looking at two. 26th. No. Oh, he's coming to here. Um, Bashalk. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> on the 26th. Get out in May. Yeah, it'd be a better fight. We'll arrive in Beshbalik on the 26th. Yeah, the other guys went down there. Alright, see how badly this one goes. On the 26th of April. Alright, we outnumber them. Looks like they're not reinforcing. <laughs> As I retired my chambers, I found a book. Read the Buddhist. Okay. Uh, Non-aggression pact with somebody. Yeah, they're always good. Alright, killed eight and a half times as many. That's what we need to do in every fight from now on. Uh, we could usurp the kingdoms now. Why can we finally usurp the kingdom of Croatia? Oh, they've actually been going to war for us while we've been out here. Alright, and the other one was... What? Trebsond. We didn't have that because he was... Oh, that's right. Their rebellion's finally over. Um, yeah. It's the first time they've been at peace for decades. Okay, uh, who's attacking us here? Yeah, 13th of June. We get out on the 23rd of June. 
Okay. Last time that this is going to be positive. Copy of the Buddhist Buddha Kamalava. I've been blind now. Actually, we've already got. Well, we're not really doing any good here, are we? We're an adherent, and we're an emperor right down the bottom of the list. Um, start secretly practicing Buddhist religion. We'll leave the uh, assassins. Alright, and I mean, we should have a chance of winning this, unless these guys reinforce, which they're doing. In a month. That'll be enough, though. It's come to our attention, you're no longer adhere to the true faith. As defending the Shia religion and its followers is why we exist, you're booted. Alright, what does Buddhism give you? Can we join something else? The Eightfold Path. Those who seek really following the teachers of Buddhas, focus on asceticism, etc, etc. That's fine. Alright, I want to see if we would have won this without them coming in. Looks like they've immediately buggered off, though. 30 onto 40. Um, yeah, we'll read that some other time. Want to join the Secret Buddhist Society? Yes, we do. Alright, numbers are still going their way. It is start of July. It comes in 19th. We would have won this if he didn't reinforce with these 20,000 men. If we can get them low enough, there we go. We need our morale back. No, whoa, we got him. This is where we get the huge... Yeah, let's look how this one ends up. He lost 28,000 to our 8. Um, well, it's not 8 to 1 like we needed. There's a crazy amount of war score change, though. Makes me think there might actually be a chance. Scarily. Now, we get in 19th of August. Two weeks is only enough to get about 30. We'd be up to 64 against somebody. Well, where are they all going? They're all going to Kamul. No, we can't do that. We go over to this one. Uh, Barkul on the 8th. It's two months. We should have full uh, thing by then. Alright, and if we hadn't lost that... Oh, we're actually allowed to get an more than 75%. Okay. Well, if we can go siege these down super fast, we'd have a chance. Which makes me think that these guys should have been waiting up in the steps all along. Um, where do we have supply? We do there. Alright, and let's check first. Afanasi, Jinka, and Stanislav. Uh, what do you want? Organizer. It's just Afanasi. Alright, Viceroy, Aragon. You gotta have that. And then. Instead of having an organizer, they want like flanker or something. Or rob the lord. Actually, we want um, combat in farmlands. There we go. Now, this dude, it's all about the defense and the amount of troops, so he probably should stay in the center. Alright, well, feels a bit weird, but we might actually be able to win this now that we've done that. As long as we don't lose a huge battle again. He's down to 80,000 men. And we're gaining a lot faster now that we've stopped raiding China. So if we weren't raiding China at the start, we would have had the men to pull in already. Um, I suppose we could raise them now. No, I think we have to drop everything. Russia, Sweden, France, Georgia, Aragon. Commute. No, okay. Well, I'm going to take a short break here. When we come back, we'll see if... It's going to be game over or if we can actually beat these guys. All right. See you soon.